welcome to another episode of me trying to speak English and fail miserably, especially when it comes to grammar or pronouncing words like miserably. Miserably? You get it. Today I want to show you my approach to apply a comic look to footage without using any further plugins. This is my original footage. I used parts of my last video. The result can be something like this. And here's an example of a single scene. First, we create a new composition. This will be the border framework. In German, that will be the comic Rahmen. I want to make a 3x3 grid of HD videos. So I put in 5760x3240. Now create a new solid and make it black. Then I create a white solid, but it will be only 50 pixel wide. I could try to align this manually, but this is a pain in the ass. This is of course a better way. I duplicate the white solid and move it to the other side. One more. Here we have the alignment tool, which makes positioning very easy. Now we need the horizontal borders. So again 5760 by 50. I duplicate again and use the alignment tool for positioning. This would be perfect if I wanted to do a 2x2. Two two. So we need a few more to create the 3x3 three three I originally wanted. Now we can pre-compose it and make it a 3D layer. Next we add the camera, the default is fine. We can zoom out and rotate the camera. And here we have a basic border framework. Now to the interesting part. I create a new composition with my footage. This is what we are working with. We start with a curves effect. I suppress the shadows and pop up the highlights to add a lot more contrast to the image. Now I add the cartoon effect. In German it's called Zeichentrick. And right at the start you can see what it does. Pixels get combined to new solids and together it gets a more stylized look. 
If I increase the shading steps, the image keeps a lot of the initial areas. But I want to enhance the stylized look. I like 4 for the shading steps. And I decrease the smoothness of the steps. Now it's starting to look more like a comic drawing. Let's try to find a good spot for this image. An adjustment on the curve might help on the cartoon effect. What do we have so far? At this point every step further is a question of taste. My next step was the effect Pinselstriche. That should be brush strokes in English. It gives the image the impression as if it was painted with single strokes. I decrease the brush size to make it a bit more subtle. To give it a bit more animation, I add an expression on the direction. I type in time multiply by 120. This will change the direction of the strokes over time. Now I add CC glass I choose a small height and decrease the disturbance. In my opinion this improves the comic look I'm going for. Next I add the fast blur to smoothen out the rough edges of the strokes. Not so much, just a little bit. That's not bad, but the movement itself is still too smooth. This is because of the frames per second. A cartoon does only have roughly about 12 instead of 30 like in this situation. So I change the composition from 29 to 12. And that's not too bad. Now we include the new comic picture into our framework. Adjust the scale and the position and we're good to go. Now we can keyframe the position of the camera and there's the start for our animated comic. I hope you liked this tutorial and come back for the next episode. Cheers!